In the following years, the bureaucracies at the heart of the state grew enormously. Their job was to regulate capitalism for the benefit of everyone. In an age of optimism, there were few who challenged this new vision. But one man on the margins was convinced it would lead to disaster. He was an Austrian aristocrat called Friedrich von Hayek, who had fled the Nazis and now taught at the University of Chicago. Hayek was convinced that the use of politics to plan society was far more dangerous than any problems produced by capitalism, because it inevitably led to tyranny and the end of freedom. The terrible example that Hayek pointed to was the Soviet Union. In their search for a utopia, the Soviet leaders had tried to plan and control everything, but this had led them into tyranny and dictatorship. The same would now inevitably happen to the West, he said. It was on what he called the road to serfdom. The only way of avoiding disaster was to go back into the past, back to a golden age of the free market, where individuals followed their own self-interest, and government played little or no role. Out of this would come what Hayek called a self-directing automatic system, a spontaneous order created by millions of people pursuing their own gain. We will benefit our fellow men most if we are guided solely by the striving for gain. For this purpose we have to return to an automatic system which brings this about, self-directing automatic system which alone can restore the liberty and prosperity. That is my fundamental conception. Isn't it a philosophy based essentially on selfishness? What about altruism? Where does uh, that come in? It doesn't come in. Hayek's ideas were dismissed by politicians and economists. The notion that one could create social order in a modern, complex world simply by unleashing individual self-interest was seen as a failed and discredited idea.